Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about the kinetic chain. The kinetic chain is extremely important in tennis and I'm sure most of you have heard about the term. So what exactly is the kinetic chain? In tennis, power is generated through the different body parts working together. Essentially, your body works as a linkage system where energy is transferred from one link to the other. The kinetic chain is also the reason why tennis players don't need huge muscles to hit the ball very hard. So what exactly does the kinetic chain look like? I'm going to take the forehand as an example to demonstrate the kinetic chain. The principles involved are the same though for any stroke. Basically you want to coil and uncoil all of the body segments that are involved. Your muscles work like a rubber band in this process. They get stretched, energy gets stored and then transferred to the next element of the kinetic chain. So. On a forehand, it all starts with the legs. They coil and uncoil. The energy gets transferred to the hips, through the core, and into the arm. In order to maximize your potential on any stroke, you need to involve all of the body segments in the kinetic chain. Now, when analyzing someone's stroke, I always look for problems in the kinetic chain first. Most recreational players use only parts of the kinetic chain. A very common problem is hitting with the arm and not involving the lower body. Let's go ahead and compare two forehands. One with good use of the kinetic chain and one where the kinetic chain is not used properly. What you can see here is that on the left I'm really turning my shoulders and coiling my upper body. The legs are also very bent and a lot of energy is stored. On the right on the other hand I barely turned the upper body the hips are not coiled and the legs are barely bent. Now on the left all of that energy is going to be transferred into the shot whereas on the right the energy comes almost entirely from the arm. Now have a look at the whole sequence one more time and compare the correct motion to the incorrect motion. Alright, so much on the kinetic chain. It is essential that you make good use of the kinetic chain in order to get effortless power on your strokes.